I walk around with 10 stacks. Right. Oh yeah, you watching House of Artists TV. I'm the host with the most Western store with T-Mort. Check us out on Mars vs. Venus Season 2. Deuce. Greetings, citizens, and welcome to another episode of Mars vs. Venus, Season 2. I am your host with the most, Western Story with Timor, and boy, do we have a doozy of a show for you today. Fantastic show topics, awesome questions, and a phenomenal cast of characters. The co-hosts, let's start the introduction, shall we? I'm Ro. Hey, y'all. I'm Tasha. I'm Kiki. As you guys can see, we have new blood to the show, Miss Ro, Rokidra <laughs> Curry, out the 614. Uh, she will be joining the cast of Mars vs. Venus. And uh, tell them a little bit about yourself. Oh, gosh. Do they really want to know? I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am born and raised in Lorraine. Um, I currently live in Columbus. I come back to Lorraine quite often to do community work here. Awesome. Um, that's really about it. I'm a mom of a little, well, not little, 11 year old. She's yeah. kind of big, but you know, that's about it. Okay. Well, it's been a while since we all got together. How's your week been going for you so far? Mine is great. Mm -hmm. but I'm always excited. So. All right. I got off work early, so I was pumped. I was like, yes. All right. Sounds good. Yes. You like a movie? I tell you. <laughs> good. Today's my grandma's birthday. So it's like every time we show up together, Somebody's I got a birthday, birthday in the family. Me. But yeah, grandma's 79, so happy birthday, grandma. Happy birthday, what y'all doing with granny? Uh, we got her a cake and they're having a little party at the house for her, but you know, she said she's ready for next year because it's the big 8 0. So she wow, wants a big wow. blowout next year. So okay. I guess I gotta start Turn planning up. for that now. Okay. She wants strippers and stuff, I guess. Wow. Well, <laughs> yeah. Boy, I tell you. Oh, we got wow. one right here. <laughs> I know, right? Here it is. Miss Tiki, what you got going on there? I didn't do too much. I went to work. Uh -huh. um, just kind of chilling, Enjoyed a couple days. I had a movie day with my granddaughter. She's four. Awesome. She's turning four tomorrow. I'm sorry. And um, that's pretty much wraps it up for me. Well, we kind of had like a very sad break in the news. Uh, the guy by the name of Prince, formerly known as The Symbol, kind of passed away. Um, it, it, it made me want to just go back and kind of listen to the lyrics. Prince was always a deep guy, and I'm a lyrics guy. And, uh, you know, he, he, he really says some really sound things if you listen to, you know, his wordplay and the lyrics. He was a, a, a musical genius. He played all the instruments, and uh, the music world really lost a key figure. Um, Prince is the guy that kind of made it cool for guys to wear blouses and high heels. <laughs> You know, some right, guy, true. Yeah. You know, and, and women never question that guy at all. He also no. wore he also wore pants with the buttocks out. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and he was a sexy little guy. five foot two okay. Yeah, he was sexy. But my thing was is, five, two, five women, like you that? guys never question his sexuality because he was a singer. No. Now you got guys like Kim. You got guys like Johnny Gill. You got guys like. Uh, you know, music soul child. You got guys that's, you know, Jagged Edge, all these singers. But if they decided to start wearing pilgrimage shirts, which blouses, none of those shirts are in the male section of the, of the department store. None of them. <laughs> Let's put that out there. None of those shirts. And then high heels. He, he wore high heels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did. He Women well. never questioned Prince's sexuality. They just would go crazy. Oh my God, it's Prince. Oh my God. You guys didn't either, though, sexy. did you? Mm -hmm. I mean, look here, we had, you had Apollonia. They used to wear the same clothes. Right. That's she was true. Sick. I mean, she was beautiful. She That's still true. is, but, I mean. So, what if, so, let me, what if you guys were dating a guy? He was dressed kind of like this, kind of I'm dressing up. Then he just said, you know, he, he was an aspiring singer. And Prince was his idol. So he wanted to start dressing like Prince. <laughs> you can't do that. But you, uh, no, but, but why do you can't? Because you're a copycat. You can't well, copycat. You can't copycat. Yeah, you can't copycat. My Prince. thing is, 
let's let's define aspiring. Like aspiring, like <laughs> you started yesterday. Aspiring, right. oh, like Alexis Chris died. You decided you wanted to be a right. or aspiring, like you actually have right. Like now that Chris is gone, you want to. You know, slowly move your way one. up and become a new one. <laughs> or are you aspiring as in you're a local artist, you're big time locally, and then, you know, you're trying to make it big. Sometimes do impersonations. Right. <laughs> you know, because people say, I'm aspiring. I show up with an autograph. I just okay. have an aspiring singer, and I have been saying anywhere. That's true. Like, if you just have, like, two hits on YouTube, I'm going to need for you to just, just tell me you have a job. <laughs> we don't need to worry about your singer right now. That's we're gonna true. take this, you know. You're not too we're serious gonna take a about break. it. <laughs> you can wear your blouses at home in your videos. You know, leave my shoes wearing. alone. You don't wear my size. Okay. <laughs> right, leave my heels alone. We we'll buy you your own, and you know, you do that. Don't Look, tell me about it. Well, let's kind of switch it before we dive into the meat of the show real quickly. What's the difference between how Prince dressed with the blouses and the high heels to where the new school kids are doing the very long shirts that kind of look like skirts? They're doing the very skinny jeans now that kind of look kind of suspect. And these guys are kind of rappers. They're dancers. They're skateboarders. What's the difference? Why don't people give them a pass? It's the masculinity. It's, was anything masculine about Prince? Yeah. Besides yeah. his he had, he had a masculine, Absolutely. like he was very sexy in a manly way. Even though he wore those wow. clothes. His lyrics were very powerful. He was very yes. sexy you know. in like a masculine, like I would never question his sexual orientation no. based on his clothing. He was a very sexy, masculine man. So never he made it off. He never, you never questioned it because, you know, he always was with beautiful women. Right. He, you know, he you know his band was, women, you know. His band Beautiful did, dancers, yeah, I mean, you just, know, it was and a lot of songs that he helped make were also, you know, with women, and so it just it showed that he did have a masculine side to him, but also had a feminine side. Which in the eighties it was okay though, right? It was the eighties; it was a different time. It was wearing glitter, you know, now, that, but they wear skinny jeans, but then sag with belts and look like penguins. I ain't got that looks. That is not sexy. But not I, only that, you never see them not. with women. There was other yeah, men there were other that have a long dress shirts <laughs> and skinny jeans. So real quickly, <laughs> real real quick. If our show producer Tori and Kimmy start wearing blouses <laughs> and high heels and start hanging and start hanging with some of the prettiest women that Cuyahoga County, Lorraine County has to offer, you want to question it? And so, what his aspiration would be for him going to wear jogging pants and t-shirts to high heels and shirts. blouses? Listen, if Tori decided one day that he wanted to switch it up on us, you know, to be perfectly honest, because I know I don't even take him seriously. I don't even take him seriously. I just like Tori, what are, what's going on? With you? Okay. Like what's are, what's going on? Are we having a midlife crisis? I like, know you want to never settle down. So it's just out. new. Like I know Prince passed away, and it's just your. You know, <laughs> What's your way? This is your grieving, right? You're grieving. Like, let's talk about this. But, but what if, he, but what if Tori can sing? Well, he can sing, but in a different way. Okay. Right. <laughs> I like that. Okay. With, with all that being said, with all that being said, we're going to dive into the meat of our show. This is the top ten worst case relationship scenarios. Uh. And uh, we're just going to dive right into the show just like this. You and your spouse, they get a place together, and he or she quits her job. As soon as you guys get the place together, and you guys have been together for about four years, what do you do? Why did they quit? They just quit? Like they just up and quit their job. Well, to be perfectly honest, I'm going to need, I'm going to give them... I'm gonna say 30 days, because that's what my mind says, my heart really says like two weeks. Wowzers. But I will bring home some applications, and I will do the resume, and I'm gonna say, listen, mister, we bought this place, where we got this place together, based on both of our incomes. Now, I'm not balling uh -huh. out of control, and I don't recall you balling either. Oh. Balling. I don't remember, I don't remember you being in the Jim Jones video. <laughs> I don't remember any of that. You're not aspiring. <laughs> You're not aspiring anything. I don't recall any of that. So, okay. sir, I'm going to need for you to go ahead on and we're going to need you to get a job. Or, or if you don't want to do that, you could just go ahead and leave. Okay. Because I can't support you if you're just at home on the couch. 
Great point. What do you got? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to need to know why. Like, uh, um, that's my first, right. okay, why? I mean, was it, you know, did you feel racial discrimination? Did you feel you weren't being treated right? Second of all, if you felt that way, why did you not look for another job before you quit? Uh-huh. Right. Because that's what a normal person is <laughs> who <laughs> has the, you know, motivation to work right. and knows that I'm not going to carry all this week, you know, because we got kids right. and we need to right. eat and we need the lights on. Right. So if you quit, who's paying for all of this? I, I <laughs> I'm seriously, you know, I'm self-employed. I mean, I mean, I'm aspiring to bigger, but I mean, we're really, this is, this is what we're going to do. We can't be together. If you ain't trying to do better for us, because you didn't think about talking to me about this before you quit. You didn't come to me like, babe, you know, it's not working out of work and I need to, something needs to happen. You know, they're treating me crazy. You know, the hours, they cut my hours, you know, I'm not, right. you know, then, then, okay, then we need to work on finding you something else. Mm-hmm. But you just quit and just come out like, yeah, I quit. I'm going to stay home. Right. No, you're yeah, not. Because no. I'm not staying home, so <laughs> you're not staying home. Great point. What do you have, Miss Kiki? Absolutely. I'm going to agree with both ladies. Um, there has to be an ultimatum put in place. Awesome. You know, we bought a, got this place together. Uh-huh. Um, I'm not going to, myself, personally, I'm not going to go into... Um, a two-way uh, relation of uh, the relationship and get somewhere where I can't afford myself anyway. Right. You know, That's I was true. always taught as a child, you get, you go and you purchase and you get where you can afford yourself. Great point. Right? You understand what I'm saying? So yeah. I, me myself personally, I'm not going to do that if I can't afford it myself because you never know what's going to happen later on down right. the line. Great plan. Yeah. And opinion. also, if we're not married, I'm not buying a house. Yeah. Okay. A period. I'm not buying a, with a boyfriend. I'm yeah. not buying a house. Why? Great point. Because we're not, we're not, you know, together as one. Right. Uh-huh. You know, so that's a no. No. Now, what if the reason was he was just so distraught and so destroyed and so just broken up about Prince passing? You need to let it go. <laughs> I was crying too, Wait, but you, you know, know what? I went to work the next day. You could have left work early, but um, you're going tomorrow. He actually fished in Lake Minnetonka. Okay. A um, couple people have. He, 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 painted, he painted everything purple. <laughs> Me too. I'm like, okay, purple's good. That's fine. You know, but. he was just so, so shooken up. That he just quit. I would have to give him counseling okay. because I have a problem with that. Yeah. Because, did you quit when did you Grandma died? Right. Did you quit? <laughs> did, you, did you quit right. when the family died? No. no you did no. you three days and you went. <laughs> you went back. So, okay. Okay. You knew them. Well. Oh, <laughs> and I myself no. am shaking up right now because you've put your job. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now, I feel like I'm not in this job. I'm not in this job now. I am not in this job. I don't know where you're mentally at now. Right. Now I'm questioning my decisions. Okay. Why am I with this person okay. who loves Prince so much right. I didn't know about? It just came out of nowhere. Right. Okay. We got no pictures on the wall. We're going to segue right into question number two. <laughs> you ladies are hilarious. Uh, your partner, he or she admits to having an STD, but doesn't know when he or she got it. What do you do? Well, is it curable? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... My first first question too. Okay, <laughs> because you know STDs now they have these super. There's not STDs like when you're in high school and you open up the health book. It's like right chlamydia. Here. You don't get a shot. Yeah. Right. Like now it's Real. like life or death. Like right. you know, yeah. I need to know. I need to know what What's is going it? On? What's right. going on now? Right. And why do you? Why did you just now find out? Like right. when you weren't burning when you were going to the bathroom. Like right. is that normal to you? Like we need to talk about this, and uh-huh. then we need to go to the doctor and figure out what's going on. going on with both of us because if he's my partner, you know, now you're putting me at risk. So we need to figure some things out. <laughs> First of all, I don't step into a relationship without seeing that paper. Mm-hmm. So if I've seen that paper, that means you've been cheating. Mm-hmm. So it's over. Mm-hmm. Unless you fabricated that paper, which I'm going to be very mad. Mm-hmm. Second of all, why do you not know how long you've had that? That's insane. Mm-hmm. He's out here in the streets. That's insane. Who yeah. don't know that they have something going on with their body? When's the last time you went to the doctor? That's true. Mm-hmm. That's that's gross. Yeah. You know, and I'm gonna have to end the relationship because I can't be with somebody who was dishonest because you know something going on. You just didn't want to tell. Gotcha. You just didn't want to tell. Your ego got in the way because you know you got herpes or whatever. <laughs> 
You know what I mean? You know these things. You know. You know. What you got, Miss Kiki? I agree with Natasha. Um, absolutely. It's it's we're calling it quits. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you have three strikes for different things. <laughs> But that is not gonna be one. Of them. <laughs> that's all that is not gonna be you messed up my health. Four in one. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Anything else? Well, I would say this. Depending on, I just need, I need details. I like to have details uh -huh. and things. But I will say a lot of times with you better have details. But like, yeah, you need to <laughs> look. You getting ready to move on? But not only that, it's just that you know a lot of times there's some things that sit dormant uh -huh. in men that may not sit dormant in. Women. Right. So if it was one of those cases where I'm just kind of like, okay, well, maybe this is like a f inflammation, yeah. I might be able to deal with that. But uh -uh. We, <laughs> we, we, <laughs> I mean, seriously, because no, you have to no. think, you know, it happens for me in the lower region below the belt, inflammation, itch, smell, discharge, discharge. <laughs> That's why I, said, I didn't know pee, what it is. Even right. if you burn when you pee, but it could be a kidney or bladder right. infection. You going to the doctor. Yeah, but you should you be got going to the doctor going if you're burning if you pee. Zero no. But I, yeah. how did they find out they had an STD? That's that's what I want to know. How did they find out? Yeah, how did they, did they just go did to the doctor? Did an ex call? The doctor is like, just like, hey, I, right, like, how I did you find out? I got this email and check. Yeah. you had it. I think change is just evolved in the situation. Your side check called? Like, yeah. I think his bill here started looking like a cucumber. You know Right. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I would notice that. Nobody like, ain't okay. working the way you used to. <laughs> Maybe you got a bump down there. We need to stop. Hold on. That's right. Seriously. Like, we need to stop. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I was here yesterday. <laughs> I'm yeah, because I'm like all in I'm it. I'm paying okay. attention if I'm in that area anyway. So. Let me check it out first. Yeah. Right. Oh, the lights okay. are on. Okay. Right. Turn the light on. Let me get my flashlight <laughs> out. We need to see what's going oh, on. Okay. Well, we're going right into the next question. You've been in a long-term relationship and discover on the child's 18th born day, you're not the father of that child. What do you do? Weird. Uh, <laughs> I guess it's for myself. Uh, if I find out that I'm not the child's father on the child's 18th birthday, mm, that'd be rough because it's, that means I've helped raise that child for 18 years. You bonded. And built that relationship, built that bond, went through good times, bad times, went through the whole nine. So it'd be damn near impossible <laughs> to just walk away from that child and abandon that child and say, I don't want anything to do with that child or that woman. Mm -hmm. Even if she knew all along that this child wasn't mine, it was, you know, slowly but surely this child was looking like the guy that you was with before me. Uh, that'd be kind of a tough one to just throw your hands up and be like, well, you know, it's over with, you know, and the whole nine. But it's actually a real situation, so I have to do a lot of praying on that one. I know somebody you know, it happened to. I said, I know something happened yeah. to you, too. And what, and what was the outcome? They just stayed. <clears throat> I mean, because you already oh, know he, he went and filed a civil suit and got that child support back. <laughs> but, I mean, because I mean, he yeah, had been with the child since birth, so like to him, that's his son. Yeah. And he's like, you know, I'm not going to just walk out now. He's right. going to college. You know, he's yeah. my son now. Yeah. And he actually, they actually did find the real father, and he basically didn't really want anything to do with him anyway. So it's just kind of like one of those things. But at the same time, you know, people have been having the wrong dads for generations. So uh -huh. uh, real quick. Oh. oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's I already said what I was going to say. You got something, Ski? I mean, it, it makes sense for a father, you know, to find out later on 18 years. That's, that's a rough. long time. Yeah. That's a lot of bonding. Yeah. You know, um, everything you've taught them. Yeah. You know. How to fight, how to ride a bike, how to, how to read, how to, whatever, how to count. You know, I, yeah, yeah. You know, that's a hard thing for a guy. You know, I don't think they should walk away. It's not fair to the child either. Or know, their self. You know? Yeah, or themselves, you know, but it's really not fair to the child. You love too. him. That's your son. All right, well, we got to pause for the call. So, station identity to pay the bills, and we'll be back in two and two. This is Mars versus Venus, season two. Deuce. <laughs> <laughs> Swimming, grinning. I walk around with ten stacks. Ha! I 
I walk around with 10 stacks, whipping, jury dripping, watch flooding, moving around like I'm swimming, grinning. I walk around with 10 stacks. I walk around with 10 stacks. I say it. I walk around with 10 stacks, whipping, jury dripping, watch flooded, moving around like I'm swimming, grinning, cause I know that you know that I'm winning, ask Charlie Sheen who gets the cream screaming, that I did that rap life I lived that, and you don't even know me, I'm cooter with this shit nigga, you can call me Toby, homie, what it do nigga, oh chicken head, family, yeah. When I'm feeling how I'm feeling, chilling how I'm chilling, I hit the liquor store, then we get the juice and gin it. Call my homie Shub, now we on the prod for women. Red bones, fat ass with a slim waist. Did a song to the morning till I find what I'm wanting. Wake up hung over, breath sticking as a young hop up, get cleaned up. Now I'm G'd up on my way out, notice the men staring at me. Damn, if I ain't the shit, then I'm supposed to stay to it. Now when the hat's up, I gotta move, I just do it. T.O. attitude, at times I'm kinda rude. If you don't like it, move walk, beat it, crush groove of my air, we can't be defeated, T. Kimmy, family ties, ha. uh, I'm back like I left something, know that, picture a nigga rolling, get the camera cold at, I cock back and squeeze and let a shot off, cause a nigga that pissed me off to the fullest, huh. I ain't a killer but a nigga that crossed the line, so I had to pull it, Bruce Willis couldn't die harder, why fucking bother to explain the ill situation? Yo, yo, I bring the punishment. I be the pappy. Niggas is bracket about their hood crammies. On, they big pimping, talking like they daddies. They not saying all these bitches is scallies. Yo, you piss me off, I W beef. You can call me rallies, I W beef. Uh, I like challenges, I play off the needless. You better keep up, it'll fuck up your breathing. Y'all ain't seeing pops gave the semen. Mom was a rizzle, she brought up a genius. It's complicated, I lie, but I mean it. I got the faith, but it's hard to believe it. I wasn't there, but I still seen it. Everybody loves Buff, but he looks the meanest. I walk around with 10 stacks, whipping, jury dripping, watch flooded, moving around like I'm swimming, grinning. Uh, I walk around with 10 stacks, I walk around with 10 stacks, whipping, jury dripping, watch flooded, moving around like I'm swimming, grinning. Uh, I walk around with 10 stacks. Welcome back to Mars vs. Venus Season 2. That was Family Ties. I walk around with 10 stacks. And we're just going to be just dive right back into the show. Um, here's another one for you ladies. You ladies have been doing an awesome job. I tell you, awesome with a capital way there, buddy. <laughs> Woo! Jumping sardines. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Uh, you're with your partner. Oh, this is going to get juicy. <laughs> 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 Share. Yeah. We're waiting. You're with your partner for years, and they suddenly tell you that they have been seeing someone of the same sex. Jesus Lord. What do you do? <laughs> I mean, we're done. There's nothing we can do. Like, there's nothing we can do. No. Why? No. Okay. What I, the only the only question I would ask are you the giver or are you the taker? Absolutely. That's the only question I would ask, man. Other than that, <laughs> would that would that make a difference? Yes, it would, but I'm still leaving. I'm just, I would just be curious. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because seriously, I read the book on the download a couple years ago. You guys know I live in Columbus. Columbus has a huge download community. Right. It has a huge gay community. And all he said throughout the book, every chapter, every scenario, was that he said he wasn't gay, but he also was saying that there's nothing a woman can do for him. So I would feel that, I mean, seriously, like he says sexually, there's nothing a woman that could do for him. So it's like sexually he wants a man, but he wants a woman for show. And I would feel like that's what he wanted out of me in that relationship. And that's why I would leave. Yeah, so he wanted you as the trophy, as the, as the eye candy. Right, because, you know, in the black community, homosexuality is still so taboo. Mm. Even though there are so many black gay men, it's still a very taboo subject in our community. That's deep. So, you know, he would want me to take home to mom and to take to the family barbecue and this and that. Then he's like, oh, I'm going to play basketball. He's getting stuck, you know, at his boy's house. Wait, <laughs> so, uh, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping Billy Cat because she said stuck. I mean, seriously, uh, that's what's happening. I mean, that's the reality of the situation. Enough like she go games. You know, he 
he's out here having me like miles from love and hip hop out wow. here on the ground crying and messing up my self esteem. I don't have time for that. That's crazy. What do you got, Natasha? Um, I actually went through this situation. What? Yes, it's terrible to say that. Um, oh. I found out um, because it was back when Yahoo Messenger was popular. Oh, yeah. Jesus. And I thought something was going on with the female, so I kind of hit the whole archive all messages, and he had left, and I'm not one to go through messages. I don't like to do stuff like that, but it just, something was just, some, there's something going on. When I looked, he was meeting a man, and when I brought it to his attention, you know, he's like, well, you know, since I've been 15, I've kind of had curiosity about, you know, the same, you know, sex and, you know, I've had interactions and I'm like, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm bisexual and I'm like, you know what? I'm done. I'm, Message. I'm done. I said, I'm done because you didn't care enough about me to let me into this and we was together for seven and a half years wowzers you know what i mean so you didn't care enough to let me know first of all second of all are you protected mm. are you are you protecting yourself because you're involving my health as well because you're just out there doing anybody and everybody wowzers you know because you don't care mm -hmm. you know you don't care about yourself you don't care about me you know so i had to drop the situation and you know it's not something that is you know easy to accept right because I mean you, you think to yourself at first like why wasn't I good enough to tell that to you know why did you not feel that we had the openness in the beginning to express that to me right you know because I'm a very open person anyway mm -hmm. so why did you not feel it was necessary to tell me something that important that's who you are right you know that makes up you you know, you're not a straight man. You're a bisexual male. So that changes the whole perspective of you to me because you lied. What you got, Miss Kiki? I'm going to go with the obvious. Obviously, <laughs> this relationship has been Okay, that's the first thing. You know, there's no question about that. Second, I'm going to hightail it immediately to get checked out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't need to know any of the details, why, who, what, when, all that is, does not matter. Irrelevant. Right. Okay. This is, this is five red lights. Right. Everything is at a stop, 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 stop. Okay. And that's pretty much what I'm going with. My take on it, if, uh, I was with my lady and she told me that she was seeing another woman. I would just be so destroyed. You know, yeah. it's such a lie. Oh, well, I would be so destroyed. I would be so destroyed. I'm not going to be nowhere near destroyed. Why haven't you let me come? Right. Right. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me Why sooner? Tell me sooner? <laughs> I, I got friends. It really has to be about you. It'll it really break me up. I'll be so broken. Because I'm not a quitter, <laughs> and because I'm a stick loyal guy, I'm going to stick it out. Loyalty, loyalty. I tell you, <laughs> loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. I tell you. <laughs> you're not going anywhere. But <laughs> uh, I do need details, this right. is true. <laughs> and I need the video. You got to take your video, right? Okay. Anything, me, it'll cut it out, right? Okay. What she look like? You got a picture? Oh, here's the next one. Oh, wowzers. The mother or father of your child is released from prison after 11 years and wants you back. <laughs> and wants you back. But you moved on. But before that person went to prison, you guys had a great relationship. Probably one of the best relationships that you ever had. What do you do? Nothing. I'm not a ride or die chick. I tell people that all the time. I'm a ride with you. As soon as I get that collect call, do do do. You then have you a collect die. call. Hey, boo, I'm sorry. I'm calm. I'm going to write you, but I'm not because I just don't have the energy for that. Wow, I feel true. like if you were doing something that you knew was going to land you in prison, mm -hmm. that's why should I take my time, my free time, because I'm out here in the free world, mm -hmm. whatever I want, to still be concerned about you. So, no, when I get out, we can be friends. I mean, of course, he's the father of my child. You know, here, take little junior. 
Go play baseball, whatever you gotta do. Even if it, even if you guys high fives and handshakes were <laughs> mentally, <laughs> were mentally, physically, I mean everything was tens, no chance. I don't go back. Wowzers. Yeah. How about you? Obviously, we weren't on that level because you chose to go out there and do what you was doing mm -hmm. and get yourself caught up into eleven years. Eleven years is a long. What did you do? Birds. Unless we I wrote you. I've already wrote question. you and let you know this relationship was going on. So why you chose to come to my front door and act like you own all this? Because I've been taking care of this for eleven years on my own. So when this man stepped in and is then. Dad, because you ain't been here. Uh -huh. You you ain't been here. You need to respect the fact that he has been here because you chose to mess up. I didn't mess up. I wasn't with you. I wasn't in the car. I wasn't Bonnie and Clyde with you <laughs> when you was doing whatever you was doing. So I'm not going to be Bonnie on the outside while you in there being Clyde. No. You might not. be Bonnie on the inside, though. Well, yeah. <laughs> you, you probably did. I've been saying I've been here. I'm not, I mean, here. It's not, not happening. <laughs> you got to go. What you got, Miss Kiki? 11 years is a long, long time. Right. You know, um, I'm thinking unless you're, if you're not the father of my kids, um, all ties are pretty much cut, especially after I moved on. Right. You know, um, 11 years. I, That's I, a decade not, and a year. Yeah, I'm not thinking <laughs> that you have to take that have people. my address to even know where to come to. Mm. Also progress. Like, why would I still be in that same mindset 11 years later? Yeah. Yes. For, for me, that was when I was in my 20s. I'm in my mid 30s now. You know, and, 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 and I, I just go drive. I'm yeah. straightforward. Yeah. I can't yeah. reverse. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. My, my, my thing is, I look at it like say it happened when he was 25 and you're now 37. Still not married. Still, you know, you progressed as far as career wise, but relationship wise, you're still looking for that one person to. Give you that fire to give you that love because this is real life. You know, you, you meet, you greet, you date, you work, don't work, whatever the situation, whatever the case may be, and you find yourself still friend single, single like a dollar bill, still out here mingling. And this person comes home, and it was like this person was everything to me before they left, and they're everything still. They're still in the right state of mind. Well, if you're single, that's birthday. different. But you if you're in a relationship, and you've been in a relationship but for it, multiple years, and it's just I'm not going to, I'm not going to, but I mean, obviously, not married, I've been not with nothing. you, but I've been with them for three, four years. Obviously, they mean something enough to me to be with them that long. You know, okay. and like I said, I've done wrote you and let you know, because I'm not holding back and letting you think that I'm still sitting out here waiting for you. No, I did move on. You know, I did find that person that wanted to be here without being, you know, a criminal. Any part shots? Yeah, because even if I didn't move on, after 11 years, I'm thinking, um, you know nothing about the outside world. Right, you're mm -hmm. you, know, you, you pretty much have a jail mentality right. after 11 years. You know, you're used to that. That's like, you're comfortable. You're, that's your comfortable space, you know. So even being outside after 11 years... It's not going to be the same. You know, I've changed, I've grown, I've matured, you've changed, you know, your place of living didn't change, you know, you know outside world changes, and um, I'm thinking I'm moving a little faster. You're still in the eight party. <laughs> All right, well, that was the first half of this two part, that was the first half of this two part show of the 10 worst case scenarios, and we'll be back in two and two, Mars versus Venus, season two. Deuce. Yeah.